happy october everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so i am finally back i feel like i say this all the time but i know i've been gone for a little while we have a lot to discuss i have a lot of updates to give you guys but we'll talk about that later in the video but i have definitely missed you guys a lot and i'm ready to get into these halloween nail sets for the month so first let's just get right into the nails here is the nail set we are going to be doing today it's going to be our first halloween nail set i feel like it's cute and i really liked it because it was chrome so i just really want to recreate it so what you're going to need for this nail set is a nude poly gel i'm using this one from mccart and i'm using a red gel polish to draw on the french tips and then we're also going to need some chrome powder and that is pretty much it we don't really need much so let's just get right into this nail set okay so here are my natural nails please don't look too close they are like so bad i haven't touched my nails in so long we need to fix these like right now so i'm first gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles Okay, and since I haven't done my nails in a while, I'm going to use this circular cuticle drill bit and work this around the cuticle area. Now I'm just going to take my cuticle scissors and I'm going to trim off this excess dead skin. Okay, much better already. Next, I'm going to trim down my nails. Next, I'm going to just smooth out the free edge. I feel so much cleaner, like I need to do this hand. Okay, next I'm going to remove the shine from the nails using a fine grit sanding band. Okay, I'm going to put on a peel off base coat and I'll be right back. Okay, next let's get these nail tips sorted out. I'm going to glue these nail tips on with some base coat. I miss having nails on. I haven't had nails on since probably the last time I posted a video. Okay, so I have them glued on and I'm going to trim them down. I want these to be kind of long, but Maybe not super long, actually. Maybe like medium. That's a good length. Okay, so here's the length I'm going with. Now I'm just going to reshape them a little. They really don't need to be shaped. I just need to straighten out the edge here and kind of like blend the nail tip in on the sides. Okay, so once the nail tips are shaped, I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band once again. I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tips. Okay, so once all the nails are filed, you're going to be adding on a final layer of base coat. Okay, so base coat is all on. Let's get into this poly gel application. So I know I said I was going to draw on the French tips with some red gel polish, but I think I'm going to just do regular French tips instead. So I'm gonna be using the nude poly gel and this red poly gel. I hope I have enough. Like, I know there's like majority air in this tube. I'm just using some 91% isopropyl alcohol as my slip solution. I have my poly gel brush here, so let's get started. First of all, we're going to take our nude poly gel and we're going to be creating like that almond shape for the French tip. I want these French tips to be deep French tips. So I have a lot that I want to tell you guys and update you guys on. So I guess we'll first just start off by Happy October. I'm so excited for Halloween. I just am in like such a Halloween mood. Like I know I've been taking a pretty long break. Like I could not miss Halloween nail sets. I would be pretty disappointed in myself if I did. So I had to get the motivation and start doing some nails. So the last time I uploaded a video was in the beginning of August. Isn't that crazy? The time has been going by so fast. I can't believe like October is going by so fast. Like I feel like we just started September. I don't know where all the time is going. But anyway, the main thing that I wanted to tell you 
you guys about is some really exciting news. I am still like kind of processing it, I guess. So the big news, the big life update is that I moved. I moved out of my parents' house and I got an apartment. And this like apartment journey is a really long story. So grab a snack. Let's finish these nails and let me tell you this story. So I have been apartment hunting for a while now, probably since like the beginning of the year. I've been thinking about moving in like January, but I really got serious about like apartment hunting probably in March when I turned 18. So I started doing some research looking for apartments that I would like. I knew that I didn't want to move super far away from my parents' house, but I knew I didn't want to live like too close to my parents because the area is like super far from everything and you have to drive at least like 30 minutes just to get anywhere. So I wanted somewhere that's like close to everything. Like I want a Target, a Publix, a Starbucks, like everything's super close to me. That's what I wanted. So I didn't know anything about how to get an apartment basically. And I toured my first apartment and I was like, wow, this is really cute. At first I was looking for two bedrooms because I just wanted like obviously my own bedroom and then an office room for my nail room that is like what i want like that's what i need but instead of a two bedroom i ended up getting a three bedroom i just felt like i wanted more space so i got a three bedroom so i had to do a lot of research figure out what i needed to actually get an apartment like i didn't realize how long it would take me to move i wanted to move around the summertime but that did not end up happening so like i just moved in to my apartment and it's october and i've been planning to move since like march so I toured my first apartment. I liked it. The area was kind of mm, iffy. Like it was a good area, but also like not exactly what I wanted. It was kind of like just my first tour ever touring an apartment. It just wasn't the one, you know? It was like a tester tour. <laughs> it was a nice apartment, but just not the one. I don't know. Through that whole time, it was kind of like on and off of me wanting to get an apartment because it, it got frustrating not being able to find anything that I'd like because I was like so picky and I just it needed to be perfect and it's okay to be picky when it comes to something you know as big as getting an apartment and I was just getting frustrated because I just couldn't find anything so I would tell myself okay fine I'm not gonna move then but then I would just keep looking and I'm like okay maybe I will move and then it would just be like a cycle like that fast forward through the story a little bit it's now like somewhere in the middle of August so my older sister sister spice as you guys know her as she lives in an apartment and I saw her apartment complex had a three bedroom apartment opened and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Like I get to live right next to my sister because Sister Spice lives two hours away so far. And I'm like, this is perfect. I get to be near my sister and it's a three bedroom apartment and it's on the top floor, which is what I want. And I'm like, this is perfect. So I instantly schedule a tour and we go and tour the place and it's like perfect, like so perfect. I loved it and it was a great price. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting this one. Like, this is the one. This apartment is the one. Guys, this story, <laughs> this story has some drama. So just you wait. So yeah, I'm thinking this apartment is the one. It is so nice. It's a really good size. Like the rooms are really big and everything. So I do all the paperwork. I apply for it. I get approved. And I was like so happy because, you know, that's like my first apartment ever. I didn't know if I would actually get approved or not. And I did. When I toured the apartment, it was like perfect. When I toured it, it was me and my my sisters who toured it so all three of us we you know checked the place out we didn't see anything wrong i'm able to move in as soon as possible so like once i get approved the next step is signing the lease so move-in day comes i haven't signed the lease yet so i signed it the morning of my move-in day before i get to the apartment um so i signed the lease online and everything i already packed like a bunch of my stuff in my car and everything and like i'm ready to move in so we get there i pay my first month's rent and i pay my deposit you know the front desk lady she gives me my keys and she walks us up to the apartment to like you know kind of like welcome us in and here's where everything starts going downhill so we toured the exact apartment that i would be moving into like i said before we didn't see anything wrong with it when we toured it i will be honest we probably should have looked closer but we 
just didn't notice this and i'm like so confused on how we didn't notice this so we're like standing in the kitchen and the kitchen is pretty big it's like right near the front door of the apartment and we're like standing in there talking and all of a sudden my little sister cat's Edis, as you guys may know her as she tells us she's like i saw a roach like run behind the fridge a big roach and i'm like oh my gosh like it doesn't even process in my head i'm like thinking like one roach you know is it that bad i don't know i i'm kind of like not really processing it and then all of a sudden the roaches just start coming out the woodworks <laughs> literally one of them just runs into the middle of the kitchen like right near the front office lady and you know she's trying to like kill them and she's like saying that how she's not scared of them so she's like trying to kill them for us and that's when we start checking the kitchen saw a giant roach run behind the fridge and a giant roach just runs into the middle of the kitchen i start looking closer and i see baby roaches all over the kitchen floor another roach comes out and it runs under the stove you know how stoves they have like that drawer under the stove where you can put like your baking sheets and stuff so she opens the drawer and like another one comes out of the drawer and the front office lady is trying to kill them like they're getting away they're quick and i remember opening the dishwasher and i saw a giant roach like in the dishwasher this place is like infested and obviously the apartment doesn't want to admit that it was infested but it definitely was i mean baby roaches come on like really tiny baby roaches they're like making a colony in there and mind you i already signed the lease and looking back yes i should have been way smarter about it i should have like asked to tour the apartment one last time before i officially signed the lease but i didn't think of it because we didn't notice anything when we toured it the first time so like it being infested with roaches didn't even cross my mind that that would be so while we're spotting all these roaches coming out of everywhere the front office lady is kind of trying to like play this down and like laugh it off she's like oh i lived in hawaii and like they had a lot of bugs so i'm not scared of these bugs and whatever but i'm scared of them i don't care if you're not scared of them i'm scared of them i didn't sign up for a roach infestation pause in the story cat's Edis is here everyone it's been a while since you know you heard from cat's Edis. hi um i'm in the middle of the roach story Rochi apartment. That thing was foul. That thing was foul. Yes, it was. Bye-bye, my little piglin stalkers. Okay, continuing on. Yeah, she's saying, you know, like that she used to live in Hawaii and they had like a bunch of big bugs there. So she's not scared of the bugs and whatever. But it's like, you're not living in the apartment. I would be. So I'm scared of them and I don't want them there. Like, I did not sign up for that. So she's like, you know, kind of laughing it off a little bit. And I'm thinking like, wow, like this is how seriously you're going to take this. Like, like they're like coming out of everywhere all of a sudden. She's like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm sorry about this. I'll put you down for like the pest control schedule thing. I think my move in day was on a wednesday and the pest control people couldn't come until the next tuesday what i can't move in here you know what i mean like i cannot live there i can't move any of my stuff in there i don't want my stuff getting roach infested you know what i mean like this is just crazy and she leaves the apartment and she's like i'm sorry about this and she leaves and me and my sisters are standing in there like what is going on right now like is this really happening it gets worse <laughs> So we start opening up the cabinets in the kitchen and when I tell you there is like one or two visible roaches in every cabinet we open in every cabinet and the kitchen is shaped like a u-shaped and there's like cabinets on like like an l shape so imagine all the cabinets and all the roaches in there in every cabinet we open in every drawer that's just like not right okay so we have all the nude parts of the nails done. Now I'm just going to clean off that tacky layer that gets left on the nails because we are gonna go ahead and shape these just to make sure that the shape of this nude part is nice and crisp so we can have a nice crisp smile line. Okay, so I'm gonna take my hand file and just shape this part. Okay, continuing on in the story. We start opening all the cabinets there's multiple roaches in every cabinet we open and we're kind of like not wanting to be in there anymore because what if they're like crawling on us you know like i'm so afraid of bugs guys so we continue on and check in the bathroom cabinets and there's even roaches in the bathroom cabinets like they're everywhere and i toured that apartment a week before i moved into it a week earlier we didn't see anything i will be honest we did see two dead bugs we saw two dead roaches but they did tell us that the apartment has been sitting there for about a month so you know we just thought those were like a couple little stragglers you know because it's been sitting so long so other than that like we did not see any bugs 
So we get out of that apartment. We go back to the front office, tell the lady like, we cannot live there. That place is infested with roaches. And they just don't like the word infested because I, you know, it's bad for them. And I'm like, I cannot live there. I can't move in. What are we gonna do? So the property manager wasn't there that day. So they said that they couldn't really do anything because the property manager is the one that, you know, can deal with this stuff. They're just the front desk ladies. Okay, so the nude part of the nails are filed. Now I'm going to be using this red poly gel from Macar. I really hope I have enough of it. I, I know this is like really filled with air, but look how pretty this red is. Okay, continuing on. So yeah, I said I can't move in there and they say they can't really do anything because the property manager isn't there and I have to wait till tomorrow because the property manager would be there the next day. So then they proceed to give me a giant jug of bug spray with that like spraying nozzle thing and they want me to spray the apartment. And when I kept saying it was infested with roaches, they either kept trying to say it was palmetto bugs, which they're not palmetto bugs. Like you can just tell, you know, a palmetto bug is like a singular bug. They, they don't really live inside. And they were like, it's probably palmetto bugs. You know, we have like, they have like a construction patch, like kind of in the front of the apartment, but honestly not close to the apartment at all and they kept trying to say that the bugs were palmetto bugs from that construction patch because they like dug up the ground and stuff and they were trying to blame it on that first of all i'm on the top floor so you're trying to tell me that that construction which was really far away from my apartment made that apartment become infested i don't think so if my apartment is infested wouldn't that mean every apartment near that construction patch would be infested? And another thing I forgot to mention is that when we finished touring the apartment a week earlier, a week before my move in, because we saw those two dead bugs, we had asked her like, is there a problem with bugs in this apartment or anything? And she, the lady who was giving us the tour, she was like, no, this apartment doesn't have a problem with bugs or anything. It's probably just because the apartment's been sitting for like a month, but no, it doesn't have a problem with roaches. That's what she basically said. And we trusted her. Her. they say they can't do anything until the next day they give me that giant jug of bug spray expecting me to do something about it but that should not first of all that's not my job second of all i did not ask for it to come roach infested so i spend the night at my sister's apartment because you know she lives in that apartment complex and i'm supposed to have a meeting with the property manager the next day so i didn't want to go home because that's a two hour drive so i just ended up spending the night at my sister's apartment and in the morning the property manager called me and she was like hi so like what's the problem like with the apartment and i tell her i'm like that place is infested with roaches and once again they don't like the infestation word once again they try to blame it on the construction in the front and they just say like it's palmetto bugs i was getting so frustrated because she they just kept trying to blame on that when you can just you just know like that's an infestation of roaches straight cockroaches that's an infestation and it was getting me really frustrated that they kept trying to blame it on the construction out front and telling me that they were palmetto bugs when they weren't so i'm talking on the phone with the property manager she's like well you know i'm sorry about this and we didn't know that this was a problem she kept saying like we walked the apartment like four or five times before you moved in there and we saw nothing i don't know if they were lying or not so then she proceeded to try and offer me a two-bedroom apartment which is not what I want. I wanted a three bedroom, which is why I, you know, applied and signed the lease for a three bedroom. And I was like, mm, can we talk about this like in person? Like, can I meet with you in person? So me and my whole family, we go to the office and have this meeting with this property manager. Also, I forgot to mention one more key detail. So the day of my move in, after I told the front office ladies that it was infested and I can't live there. So that night, my parents came because, you know, we told them about this and they were very upset. So my parents came and we all checked the apartment again because, you know, I did have the keys because I already signed the lease and everything. So we went back there later that night and we took videos of everything because it was so bad. And because it was nighttime, all the roaches were like coming out to play. When I tell you they were everywhere, they were everywhere. Once again, all over the kitchen, in the living room, because the kitchen and the living room are kind of like one big room. In the living room, you know, they were pretty much crawling around everywhere in the corners of the walls. They were even on the windowsills. They were on the door frame of the balcony. So we took videos of all of this. When we walked in there to take those videos, like <laughs> there was like a group meeting of roaches like under the cabinets. I'm gonna insert the videos cause this is like crazy. So if you don't wanna see any bugs, skip ahead probably like 10 seconds. But I'll put the video right here of like the, 
the colony like the little group meeting of roaches that we saw when we first walked in there so after we took those videos i spent the night at my sister's and then we had this meeting with the property manager so when we're in the meeting i once again tell her like it's infested i can't live there and on the phone she already tried to blame it on the construction and say that it was palmetto bugs and once again, she was trying to say the same thing. I, I just want to let you guys know that that was so frustrating to hear because you just know it's not palmetto bugs. It's not from that constriction out front. Like it's not that. Like to make her know what we're talking about, we show her the videos of all the roaches that we see. And she was like, okay, like she got it now. Like now that she sees that we have proof, like she's a little bit more like, oh, you know, like, okay. So she's like, okay, yeah, I agree with you. You can't live there. And she was like, and so she asked me what I wanted to do. She asked me like, if I wanted to get out of the lease um, or if she wanted them to fix this or what she asked me what I wanted. And I said, I want to get out of the lease. So then she's like, mm, okay. And she was like, can I call the supervisor? So we talked with the supervisor and they asked me like, can you give us like a chance to fix this basically? Cause they were like, yeah, this like is unacceptable and we want to fix this. Like, can you give us a chance to fix this? But that infestation was bad. So it's like, how long is it going to take you to fix this? And they said a week. I don't think you can fix that in a week, but they were really like persistent. Guys, I really loved that apartment. Um, So it was really, this was really sad for me. So I just so desperately wanted you know them to fix it truly so i was like you know what okay i honestly i should have just gone out of the lease right then and there i just gave them another chance because i really just maybe you know just maybe they could have fixed it and even though i knew deep down that they weren't going to be able to fix this in a week so you know after that whole situation i am extremely like really sad and upset about this because that was like my first apartment experience you know, going through that whole thing. And I am so afraid of bugs, so it was very traumatizing. So I was like really sad that whole week, you know, waiting to see if they could actually fix it because it was really like, that apartment felt so perfect for me and I had it. Like I signed the lease, the apartment was mine, I had the keys and it just kind of like got ripped out from under me. Like that's how it felt. So after like one day, I decided like, I just can't take that apartment no matter if they could fix it in one week, which I know they couldn't. I would be so paranoid. Like when I came home back to my parents' house after being in that apartment for like five minutes, like I was so paranoid. I was like, what if they like came home with me in my own parents' house, which I know has no bugs. And I was just so paranoid. If I'm paranoid, like in my parents' house that I know has no bugs, like imagine me in that apartment that I know had an infestation you know like i could not do it so i made up my mind and i was like yeah i cannot take this apartment after that one week you know we go meet back with the property manager and she says i'm gonna be honest we did go back in there and we did see a couple of them still and she was like but if you give us like one more week we can get rid of them me and my family we already knew it like they could not fix that in one week and she was like do you want to go see the apartment again and i was like no i've decided like i don't want the apartment like i want to get out the lease and i was like i don't think i'll ever feel comfortable living there i said like you know it's just like the paranoia that what if they come back and she goes on to say like you know that's she was like yeah but that's gonna be for every apartment like she just like doesn't want to admit like i don't know i don't think every apartment's gonna come infested my mom was you know there in the conversation my mom was like basically saying like you know she saw those types of roaches and she like my mom knows that those are roaches you know like cockroaches the ones that like to you know infest and the property manager is like trying to argue with my mom and she's like no they they weren't roaches they were palmetto bugs i'm sorry just stop it with the palmetto bugs already so yeah she's basically like kind of arguing with my mom a little bit and then my mom's like okay we can argue about like them being cockroaches or palmetto bugs or whatever but she was like they're bugs so you know bugs are bugs so basically that day i backed out of the lease and she was like yeah it's gonna take like 30 to 45 days for your money to be refunded first of all super long but okay you know at least i can get a pretty much full refund besides my application fees and stuff so luckily i was able to get pretty much all my money back you know i don't have it yet 
but they're supposed to be returning it. It's been 30 days, but it hasn't been 45. So I don't know when I'm gonna get that refund, but we will see. And that is pretty much the end of the Roach apartment horror story. Got out of the lease. I'm supposed to be getting my refund soon. And after that apartment, I felt like really upset and sad by it. I was like really discouraged about moving out, but it's like I had a lot of stuff packed already. Like pretty much all my nail stuff was packed and my couch I bought couches for that new apartment. Now I just have like a set of couches in my living room, nowhere to go. But yeah, I really love that apartment because like it was my sister lives in the same complex. Like she was like a couple buildings down and I just loved it because I was close to my sister and the area is pretty good. You know, it has a lot of stuff really close to it, you know, like Target and a Publix and Starbucks, you know, all the necessities. <laughs> and I really liked it, but it just didn't work out. So after that whole situation, um, I made it my mission to move out in September. And that whole apartment situation happened at the beginning of September. And I was like, I am moving out in September. I'm going to do it. So I start apartment hunting to the max. Like I'm on apartments.com every day looking for apartments. And like I'm trying to look in all the areas that I know might be, you know, good to live in. So after a little bit of searching, I would say this is like in the middle of September, like September 20th, um, I find an apartment complex that I really like and i'm like you know what this is like a really nice apartment complex it's in a really good area it's kind of like in an unexpected city that i didn't think i would live in the area is really nice there's so much stuff around the apartment like everything you can imagine every restaurant you can imagine malls shopping stuff like there's so much stuff like that's something i really wanted and i see they have like a couple three bedroom apartments available on the top floor. I wanted a top floor apartment and they would be available like really soon, like at the end of September, like September 25th. So they had three different layouts for the three bedroom apartment and I wanted to tour one of them. So I call the apartment and I'm like, hi, can I schedule a tour for a three bedroom apartment? I schedule the tour for later that day. Me and my family, we go tour the apartment. So there's three layouts, like I said, and the layout that we got to tour was like my least favorite layout. And I already knew that I wasn't gonna like it because I didn't know, I just knew by the pictures that I would not like this layout, but it was kind of more for like the gist of it. Like see kind of like what the apartments look like. And we toured that one because that was the only one that was like ready to tour. But I had my eye on a different three bedroom layout that I knew I was gonna like way better, but that one wasn't gonna be available until the end of September. So we tour the apartment, I'm not really liking it. And also another thing, I wanted like hardwood floor. These apartments have carpet on pretty much all the floor except for like the entryway, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. The whole apartment's pretty much carpet. And to be honest, I don't really like carpet like that. I was surprised at first because none of the pictures had carpet in them. So I really was like not expecting carpet to be everywhere. So that was kind of like throwing me off guard and the layout was really weird. So after we're finished touring this apartment, we go back to the front office and, and I say like pretty interested still, but I really want to see the other floor plan that they have when that's available. And she says, okay, I'll call you and let you know when that floor plan is available to tour. So a little bit of time goes by, maybe like five days and I don't hear anything back from them. So I call them and I'm like, hi, is this new floor plan available to tour? And she's like, yeah, it's going to be available like in a couple days. So I schedule a tour for that day. And oh my gosh, when I tell you like this floor plan was a hundred times better than the first floor plan we toured. And it was so pretty and it was so nice. The ceilings were so tall. The ceilings were so tall. The windows were huge. The front door is huge. It was just so nice. And I instantly said like, yeah, I like this floor plan much better than the other one we toured. And also the lady who's giving us the tour is so nice. Like she was talking to me like, talking to a friend you know like she's so nice and we look around this time i make sure to check every single cabinet every single drawer in the kitchens in the bathrooms like i check every single thing to make sure that there are no bugs i've learned my lesson you know that's something i have learned from that first apartment experience is to check every single drawer every single cabinet in the kitchen in the bathrooms to make sure that there are no bugs and there was nothing there was no trace of any bugs in there so we go through every bedroom and i love it so this apartment does have carpet everywhere it was kind of growing on me you know after i thought about it i was like you know what carpet might not be so bad honestly and even 
even though I wasn't 100% in love with the carpet, like I was accepting it and I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna apply for this apartment. Like I really loved it. So we go back to the front office. She gives me the link to apply. I go apply for it. And what do you know? I live in Florida and this is when Hurricane Ian struck hurricane ian was like at the end of september um and that was when like i was applying for the apartment and i was supposed to know if i got approved or not but then hurricane ian came i obviously understand like things are going to be delayed and whatnot me and my family we were like you know preparing for hurricane ian i wasn't ready to be moving my move-in date was scheduled for september 30th which literally that was really close to hurricane ian so the apartment calls me basically telling me that we have to like postpone the move-in date so my new move-in date was October 4th and once again I learned my lesson from last time before I signed the lease I asked if I could tour the apartment one more time before I would sign the lease so on my move-in day I asked her if we could tour it one more time and she said yes so we toured it and it was like a hundred times better than the first time we toured it because like they deep cleaned it as well and it was like so clean so bright it was so beautiful and I was like yeah I'm signing the lease today, I already know. So we go back to the office and I sign the lease. Now I have an apartment and um, since October 4th, that was my move-in date, I did move a lot of my stuff in there already. I haven't been living at my apartment really because my cats are here at my parents house i miss my cats i don't want to be living at the apartment because my cats are here i'm not ready to bring them into the apartment yet so i haven't like fully moved in there i do have a lot of my stuff in there but i'm just not living there yet okay so pause on the story real quick here are the nails all done now i'm just going to wipe off the sticky layer but yeah i'll continue with the story i signed the lease for this new apartment i haven't really been living there yet my cats are still here at my parents house i'm at my parents house right now and also because i don't have internet yet for my apartment i want to do my videos much all my stuff is gone i don't know if you can tell my room is kind of echoey because there's not really anything in here anymore but yeah this is gonna be like the last video in this house i think after this video like i'm gonna have internet and i'll be filming my videos in my new apartment i probably won't give you guys an apartment tour like a full apartment tour but i will give you a nail room tour i'll give you like an empty nail room tour because my my nail room right now in the new apartment is like just full of nail stuff it's not put together yet and i'll show you all the stuff i get for it but just today i went halloween decoration shopping and i've been waiting to get halloween decorations since like the beginning of September but I haven't had the chance because of all the apartment shenanigans so finally today I got to go get some Halloween decorations and I will show you all of that as well I don't know probably in like the next video but yeah that is pretty much my whole story with the apartments and what's been going on these past couple of months that I haven't been posting I hope you guys understood it I hope I was okay at telling the story I know I was kind of all over the place at some parts but I hope it all made sense okay so here's how the nails are looking I just just have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and we're gonna get reshaping these nails
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have all been shaped. Now we're going to get into this nail art. So I have some top coat right here, and I'm also going to be using this red chrome powder. We're going to be drawing on some drips and also some spider webs. I'm kind of nervous about the spider webs because it's very intricate, and I'm going to be drawing this on with clear, so I'm not even going to be able to see it that well. Okay, so I'm going to start off by outlining the French tip. Okay, so change of plans. I think I'm gonna draw on all the nail art with this red gel polish because I can just put the chrome powder on top of this and it might be easier to see and also it's kind of like thicker so it won't like run through the in the scratches of the nail because you know the gel polish is thicker and hopefully won't like bleed as much. Yeah, I just feel like I can get much cleaner lines. Okay, so I outlined the nail, if you can tell, and now I'm going to do the drips. I'm just going to take my dotting tool and put a dot where I want like the drip to end. And I'm just going to connect these dots to the outline. Okay, if you can tell, I feel like that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Hopefully this works. Okay, now let's test this. First off, I have to wipe off that sticky layer from the gel polish. Then hopefully the chrome will stick. Okay, got my chrome. Wow, it actually works. I'm obviously gonna clean up like around here on the nude part. Yeah, it really works. I wasn't sure if it would work with the gel polish cause I usually just do chrome with like top coat. I think that looks pretty good to me. For the next nails, I'm gonna buff around this area a lot more. Okay, on to the next nail. I'm nervous for these two nails cause they are the spiderweb nails. The spiderwebs are just so detailed and I'm very nervous to do them. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the outline. Okay, and I think I'm gonna cure this outline first so I don't mess it up. Now I'm gonna start on the spider web. Um, it's a bit uneven. Let's see, maybe like the, the little uh, curved parts will fix it, I don't know. These nails like are pretty short compared to the picture, so... surprisingly good so i'm just going to wipe off that sticky layer and um i'm just going to rub the chrome on here <laughs> Like this looks very good let's do the next one and it's pretty much going to be the same thing as this middle finger
all the nail art is done the next thing we're gonna do which is my favorite part is add on the chrome And here's how the nails are looking after all the nail art is on. And we're just going to finish this set off with some top coat. Next, we're going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I love how these nails turned out. I'm so proud of the nail art. I was really nervous to do the spider web nail art, but it actually turned out so good and it was surprisingly easy. Guys, honestly, the key to some really good detailed nail art is a thin brush. I would recommend the brush I use, but I honestly don't even know where it's from. But I'm sure if you go on Amazon and look up like nail art brushes and just look for like really thin ones, I really love the set because of the chrome detail like i never do chrome so if you do want to try this nail set i highly recommend it it really wasn't that hard drip nail art is so easy so if you want to do any type of nail art that's easy i recommend drip nail art but yeah i have really missed you guys and it feels so good to be posting again and i'm very excited for all the halloween nail sets i'm gonna do and i hope you guys are too and i hope you guys I guess enjoyed my stories that I told about my apartment. Um, I mean the first story with the Rochi apartment, it's not that fun. It really wasn't that fun to experience that, but it was it's pretty interesting and I got to learn, you know, a couple lessons from it. So um and I hope you guys can learn from that story as well. But in the end, I did find a way better apartment that I really love. And I'm so excited to show you guys the nail room that I'm gonna create in it. And once again, I hope my stories made sense. I feel like I was really all over the place. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and get ready for a nail room tour as well as like nail room shopping and stuff like that because that is what I'm gonna be working on. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!